One of the Connecticut Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection's core missions is to direct and coordinate all available resources to protect the life and property of the citizens of a Connecticut in the event of a disaster and crisis. I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers at the Kent McRae Television Studio at the University of Hartford. Commissioner Dora Shero of the Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection joins me. Welcome, Commissioner. Hi. Can you share a brief overview of your very large Department of Emergency Services yeah. and Public Protection? We uh, may, are made up of six divisions. We've got over 1,700 extraordinary men and women who, uh, who serve the state in a variety of capacities, Connecticut State Police, emergency services and homeland security. We have the crime labs, the academies where we train both firefighters and police officers, and then the statewide 911 services. Now the Division of Scientific Services, let's start with them. They've implemented some changes. What has been the impact of that? You know, it's been extraordinarily successful. Um, the, the state suffered from some significant um, backlogs um, for a number of years, and we have a really exceptionally talented new director, Dr. Guy Valero, and he and his team have resolved those backlogs and implemented a number of new strategies that have improved our ability to um, resolve uh, those open cases and uh, clear up some longstanding uh, mysteries. Uh, moving from the crime lab to state police, they also have a lot on their plate. They provide law enforcement, emergency services, uh, road safety oversight statewide, and they also have, which is unique to Connecticut, they have a local role. Can yes. you talk about that? Yeah, and it's really important. Um, for 56 communities uh, around the state, we are the police presence uh, in those neighborhoods. And so we, uh, we approach things from both uh, from the ground level and from a statewide perspective. But wherever we go, we have all of our special resources that we bring to bear to keep Connecticut safe. Now also the Division of Emergency Management and Homeland Security, very busy over the last yeah. few years. Can you discuss uh, where they've been and also where they're going? Absolutely. Um, so it, when you talk about some of the, the big challenges we faced as a state, there was, of course, Superstorm Sandy, uh, as well as Tropical uh, Irene, and then, of course, that, uh, that crazy October uh, snowfall that we had. Um, but it's, it's every much about being prepared uh, so as to be able to respond in smart and sound ways. And so that's where we continue to focus our efforts. And part of the preparation, too, that you have statewide a responsibility for is professional training the first responders, whether they be uh, fire and police, critical to your mission. Uh, can you describe the two training programs and the centers that you have? Yeah, yeah. Uh, really important and, uh, and exciting uh, opportunities for our state. At, at POST, we provide training for uh, all the municipal police departments, use the very same facility, by the way, to train all of our Connecticut State troopers. Mm -hmm. And uh, over at the Fire Academy, provide uh, all the uh, um, pre-service and then well as ongoing in-service training for both volunteered and paid firefighters around the state. Both academies also hosted special programs for youth this summer, so we're finding our next generation of first responders. I think people are going to really uh, like this. This is on the ground level for everyone. The 911 system uh, has, you know, it's a life-saving network, been going through some big technological upgrades. Yes, very, um, very big deal, uh, and it's, uh, it's on the horizon. We're going to be um, uplifting our uh, system so as to use, uh, be able to message by uh, email, um, which is another important way to communicate in addition to the phone call 911, and that will be coming on board next year. Great. Thank you so much, Dora Shiro, Commissioner of the Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection. It's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> and worth every bite. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us here for Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Nathan O'Leary.